ready like fried spaghetti. Maybe not fried. But don't forget. Take your hamburger meat out of your freezer and throw it in a boiling pot of water and serve it to each and every one of you. That's what we do. Maybe not each and every week. Each and every other week. Either or. This is Three Wheel Bicycle Podcast. One of, I don't know, one of the most uninformative podcasts. No, it's the best. It's the best podcast. Yeah, we, we, we talk about all kinds of things. If you're new here, we love each and every one of you. We got some local stuff coming up and a really cool thing, a place in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Also, we're going to get into the Mothman. It's a spooky season. And just a bunch of other, you know, random things that don't matter. Either or, I guess. It's a podcast out of Wyoming. Yeah. We hope you get a laugh, learn something. I don't know. That's my spiel if you're new to the show. (laughs) If not, we appreciate you returning listeners. I'm your host, Stevie V, and sitting next to me, Josh, and that dial like I, I can't remember we did a couple was that blooper reels maybe yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some, whatever you want to call it yeah Something like that. it was pretty comical hell yeah either or that <laughs> made her happen yeah <laughs> I don't even remember yeah either or Welcome, everybody, to the show. Hell yeah. Oh, that listen to us. Oh, wait, wait. Yellow, not orange, though. That listen to us time to time. We're a man down this week. Uh, That's all good. Yeah. Hell yeah. We got to give, uh, <laughs> yeah, the fruit flies are pretty gnarly in here. Yeah, there was like three in one spot. I was trying to get them. I fucking hit the mic. Sorry, guys. We got to give a, we got a very big happy birthday message to Miss Cynthia Joe. She turned one years old. Man, that was a pretty sweet time. Yeah, it was cool. It was really good. Really good birthday, really good food. Yeah. Everybody was cool. Yeah. We'll quit talking awesome. about it now since Jake ain't here. He's he's doing he's doing his family stuff, which is amazing. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, but yeah, that's why he's not uh, here. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, right. maybe just some of our loyal listeners are wondering, hey, where's Jake at? Well, they might be. They is they is no worry. Have to. Hey, have you ever? <laughs> oh man, I get a. 
Um. So. Buttons on your butt. That's right. That's what my grandma used to tell me. <clears throat> Man, then you wouldn't you wouldn't poop. Then I went poop. No, then you wouldn't poop. Oh yeah, right. if I sewed buttons on my well, yeah. I don't know. I wondered about that. If she meant like that, or if she just meant like on the side of my cheek, I don't really know what it meant, but she said it all the time. If I ever said so to her, that's the first thing she said. So buttons on your ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean, Grandma? <laughs> Can't ask her now. Just on one cheek or the other. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't get it. I could sew a button on one cheek, but then I got to cut a hole and make, you know, what's what good's a button with nothing to stick it into? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Where's, what's, which one's a sad trombone? Oh, oh that, that was. That one works good enough, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, thank you, crickets. Yeah, thanks, crickets. Uh, so we are currently, well, not that it matters. Uh, me personally, I'm hoping, well, the Dodgers are playing the Mets. Okay. And you know. Okay. <clears throat> Well, I'm I don't kind really of, know. I'm I'm kind of a baseball nerd a little bit. Oh, yes. Maybe not I too much, but like I was gonna say uh, I don't know anything <clears throat> about sports, but I know that yeah. you're into it. I, I'm really I'm I'm pulling for the Mets. The re- okay. the reason being is because uh oh here's another thing too. Uh yeah. Anyway, sorry I got sidetracked. Uh no worries. Yeah, dang it. Happens to the I need to take that picture down sometimes, my man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Travis is a big Dodgers fan. Right. You know? Right. And uh, which I do. If, well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. You know, I'm pulling for the Mets. Yeah. Not that I'm a hardcore Mets fan. The Mets were fan. Or, ugh. The Mets were cool, in my opinion, back when Daryl Strawberry played. Right. Okay. Yeah, they were the shit back then. Yeah. Um, Well, here is the other thing. If the Mets win, and I think the Yankees beat Cleveland, so I think they're out of it. So I think it is going to be a Subway series. Like the sandwich? I wonder if that's where it came from, dude. <laughs> but, Does Jared uh, have anything to do with this shit? I hope not. <laughs> fucking pedophile. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah that's fucking spooky. <laughs> <laughs> but, because uh, it would be, bo- you know what I mean, in New York, I guess. Yeah. But, I don't know. I'm, I'm rooting for the Mets. Rooting for the Mets. Hell yeah, man. Not that I've cool. uh, been a Mets fan forever. That's anything. cool. I have been but a not fan of anybody, I guess. If I was going to be a fan of anybody, I would have to be a fucking Brewers fan. Yeah. Well, okay. So they're not in the, they're not in it right now. Okay. Right. Well, I don't know if they've ever. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, well, I guess, I, I mean, it's too. Well, I, I tell you what. So, next year, when it comes down to, like, the series stuff. Right. You know what I mean? Well, we'll just pick. Right. Or whatever. I remember, like, uh, isn't it the Bucks? Is the basketball team? Milwaukee Bucks or whatever? I mean, they were doing yep. good for a little while. But yeah. But I'm... Besides Green Bay, I don't think any of our teams ever. Well, it's not my team, but you know what I mean. Yeah. If I was going to go with, for a team, hey, easy with them pronouns. They. Yeah. Oh. They're. 
Oh. Mine. <laughs> My. I like doing Mad Libs, dude. This shit's fun. <laughs> Is, are Mad Libs illegal now? I you can't know. do that? There's pronouns in fucking Mad Libs? Can't do Mad Libs. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh. <laughs> uh. There's no Mad Libs no more, bro. <laughs> what a sad fucking world. Yeah. Uh, speaking of a sad world and nobody that can like take a joke or, well, maybe not take a joke. Yeah, I mean, people, be, people, people are dumb. You know what I mean? I want to give a mention uh, to Casper Planet. Are you part of their group? Is that On the one Facebook. that has all the crazy shit? Yes. I love it. I, I think I'm a part of the group. I get it all the time, so I have to be. So, they made another page. Uh, like a, you, I, I don't remember the name of the actual channel, but uh, it, it came up. And uh, so, the article is a 1700s ghost ship. I washed Jesus. ashore on Florida. Fucking idiot. It- <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I I fucking love it. I do. <laughs> Dude, you didn't know that that shit fucking happened? And right the funny ass. thing is, is people get bent out of shape about it. You know? Well, it's not it's not anybody's He just reported on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I love, I love the fact that there's a big old story with it, too. Right. You know what I right. mean? But like, oh, I know. We need to get the dude on our podcast, yeah. dude. Or like, yeah. I, I, I thought about that one time and never said shit. I was like, dude, you just reminded me of that. It's like, dude. Yeah, I yeah, I, I, I love every, uh, you know what I mean? Because people are I like the facts, dude. I want to know the facts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Casper playing it, holding it down. Hey, they're the sponsor of this show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. Hell yeah. They're, the, they're this week's sponsor of the show. <laughs> I do. I love it. So love all the crowd. Uh, the other thing I wanted to throw out there. Uh, in the mentions, because I wasn't doing the shout out thing, remember anymore? Right, right. Uh, Jed with Off the Cuff, totally appreciate um, all your likes, share, all that stuff on the, yeah. uh, the Facebooks. Um, Room Green Productions, uh, they got a podcast for music lovers on Wednesdays. Um, it's on Facebook, YouTube. They discuss like music and really cool. Um, they always give me hella love every hell time. Yeah. Um, truly appreciate you guys. Right. Uh, For sure. Ooh, the other cool one that popped up um, earlier when you were making the sound, I guess. Did we, yeah. did we just the sound, the beat? I think we talk about this yeah. almost on. I don't know, man. Yeah, either or. It is when what I, it is. Whatever comes up. Yeah, it, touche. I just make it. When I, It's uh, a sound. It's a beat. It's a fucking whatever, I guess. When I posted that picture on Facebook earlier, right. uh, High Spirits and High Crimes Podcast commented on the photo and said, Super jelly of your setup. Thank you. I didn't really. <clears throat> yeah, I well when I commented I didn't really know how to respond because it, it is a thank you, but yeah, for to sure. it's like holy well, I mean we are That's just cool. kind of I don't know. Um yeah, I found this at a pawn shop. Yeah. <laughs> We're just sitting in a garage in right, Wyoming. Right. For sure. Um I definitely am gonna check out their show though, because it does seem like it's you know, it it is a spooky season. It is. You know, High Crimes, High Spirits podcast. Um, Since we are in the spooky season conversation, um, in 1962, Monster Mash hit Billboard 
top number one. That song? Yeah, dude. Ooh. <laughs> Sweet. I remember kid dances and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The monster mash. Yeah. Oh, roller skating rink. Yeah. They always oh rank rink. Excuse me. Not rank. The roller skating rank. I'm from Wyoming, so I say stupid shit, I guess. That's what I was told. What are you told? Yeah. I talk weird. Huh. I ain't no good at English. Hit that cricket button again. I don't even know how to respond. <laughs> oh, wait, that's that one. Oh, yeah, we're still on the spooky season conversation. <laughs> oh, wait. <clears throat> oh. Hold on. Gee. Well, we'll kick it back to the spooky season. Dude. Season. <laughs> season. Uh, don't be season. So the other thing I was going to throw in there, just because it is... Uh, essentially, quote unquote, updated news. Uh, the Billboard Hot 100 song currently is a bar song by Shaboise. Um, no yeah. clue. I watched the part of the BT Awards because it's on my TV. Oh, okay. Stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's a dude, black dude that is doing. Like this country, it's catchy and shit. Okay. I'm going to have to check it out. Cause um, I, but I know you're talking about only because I saw that. Oh, like gotcha. Clicking through all my, um, got the, decided to say poop on cable and just uh, do all streaming. So I've been like going through a bunch of shit. And mm. It was one of the things that came up and was like, shit, I'll check that out. Oh, but, for sure. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, wasn't that just like. What the other night, or something? Uh, no, it was a while ago. Okay, that I watched it. I think there was some other like award show or something the other night. But either or, yeah. But yeah, yeah. It was when I saw him. He performed live at the BET Awards and shit. It was pretty cool. Yeah, shit. Yeah, like I said it was catchy and shit. It's not my style of music or anything, but yeah, not too bad. I, well, obviously because it's on the Billboard number one. Well, yeah, yeah, young people okay. are going to like it. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> well, okay, yeah. Do you, in your opinion, do you think it beats Monster Match? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I will say that for sure. I'm just saying I saw it, and I was like, huh, what yeah. is this? And was like, all right, cool. <laughs> uh, crazy. No, I, I'll, I'll listen to Monster Mash. At least, you know, once or twice a year. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. And be like, huh. Oh, it's kind of like that, uh, I don't remember who sings it, but the tub song. My grandparents used to listen. Rub-a-dub-dub, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The old one. There's a mouse in my tub. <laughs> Something like that, <laughs> yeah. Where the dude's singing about people coming Rub over a to dub, his house. Rub-a-dub-dub, do you got a chub? He's like, God, party, I hope it wasn't. Party that. in my tub. <laughs> on Saturday oh. night. <laughs> 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 yeah, had nothing to do with chubs or nothing, man. <laughs> that shit was clean back then. Yeah. You know? <laughs> they weren't singing about any of that in kind of tubs. stuff. tubs. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, All up on a Saturday night. <laughs> Rub a dub dub in the tub, but I ain't gonna chop. <laughs> That's yes, right. You You're did. listening to Three Wheel Bicycle Podcast. Please share this up to everybody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure. man. We're trained professionals. I'm Josh. <laughs> yeah. Don't try this at home. Yeah, yeah please don't. <laughs> Oh, man. <clears throat> oh, no. Call out? What do you call it now? No shout out. Uh, mention. Ooh, mention. Actually. Mention. You know what? Actually, that I do like that term. Call out. Yeah. Call out. Call out to. to oh, you truckers. 
Yeah. Shout out to Josh four. Smith. Good buddy. For sharing up all of our wonderful content too. No, oh, and uh let us Kamikaze know. Kid. Yeah. Huh? Let us know. Taught us how to say to Yeah, you know, we're professionals and taught us safety rules. Yeah. <laughs> on how to do this shit. Uh Josh, next time. Well, you I, I you can comment, I believe, on the actual I can? show. No, not oh, you. Oh. Josh the trucker. Oh. Yeah. Josh the trucker. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, whenever you're cruising, you know, let us know uh where you're going. You know? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know? Just cool stuff like that, man. The yeah. call out. He was gonna give a call out, a right? A call out. Yeah. I did. Yep, to old Levi. Oh, and Trailer Park Baker. That's right. She does make some amazing. Badass cupcakes, man. Mm. Regular cakes, all the cakes. Da-da, da-da. I also wanted to say thank you to everyone that's been purchasing some of my artwork. Hell yeah. I can't remember if I said that in the beginning because we did a couple bloopers. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Whatever. It, it never did. hurts to say shit twice, bro. Yeah, touche. <laughs> Especially for all the fans of your art. Sometimes I feel like I say things twice, you know what I mean? I'm a repeater. Yeah, like, but you look at shit on your phone and stuff, right? Or, like, listen to things. They repeat the fucking shit five times. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> <laughs> At least we only do it once, maybe twice. Yeah. Did you know? Did you know that today is information overload day? Oh, really? Yes, sir. October 20th. That's fucking weird that you <clears throat> just said that. Right I know. Now. Okay. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> it's also day of writing. All right. Which is very strange because, like, I wrote a bunch of this stuff down, <laughs> and this is That's no crazy. joke. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see what the universe is doing. Yeah, it's yeah, it's crazy. Huh. Um, some other huh. couple local things I wanted to um throw out there here, um, in our daily forecast. Yep. Um. <laughs> Shout out to, of course, Assault Roller Creek Derby Assault team. Creek. Uh, they had their bout last night. The Zombies versus the Vampires. Uh, the Vampires won 166 to 160. So that's heck yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, yeah, no. those are super cool, man. If you haven't seen one of them, you got to go check that shit out. Yep. I, I do it's apologize. Badass. I did not... Uh, did not attend that last night. I'm going to get into some other stuff about that later. But, uh, <clears throat> uh, two, one, three. <laughs> yeah. You can yeah, the see two, one, three, me. Bro. Yeah. Been hanging in the two, one, three. <laughs> uh, am I number one or number two? <laughs> Do you got to go to the bathroom? Yeah, I'm going to go take a piss, bro. <laughs> oh, so you'd be number one. And number oh. two, you got to poop. <laughs> All right, then. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, November 15th, uh, there's the mustache show. Oh, I should oh, wait. Yeah. I should wait to talk about that when you get back from your poop well, break. Yeah, <laughs> me either. I tried doing it. I'm not, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, also, so the whole month of October, if you spend $30 or more down at the Little Shop of Burgers here in Casper, Wyoming, 1040 North Center Street, you get entered in a raffle essentially to win this Beetlejuice painting 
and uh, it's pretty amazing. I mean, I sometimes I hate talking about this stuff all the time because it is like my artwork, I guess, but it, it is a pretty amazing piece. Um, but yeah, all you have to do is spend $30 or more. Um, you get entered into uh, the drawing to win that uh, Beetlejuice painting. Uh, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. It's, it's pretty cool. I'm going to hit pause on this because I got a piss. Also, I didn't move stuff around. This three-wheel bicycle in here that uh, Debo's painting uh, donated a few years back. It's in the way because I didn't move stuff around. Either or. I'll be right back. I don't know what the big deal about Cracker Jack is. Did you ever go and buy a pack of Cracker Jack thinking you're going to get a prize and find no prize <laughs> in the box? Here's the pitch. All right, perfect. They got about what? Maybe six, seven minutes. <laughs> I can't even talk. Six, seven minutes into it before I uh, use the uh, use the little boys' room. <laughs> uh, that's horrible. Anywho, so back to the horror movies. Alfred Hitchcock been kind of on a little roll with his. Well, you know, not only movies. Okay, let me back it up. So the other night, a couple days ago, sometimes, well, not exactly like the exact minute to the T or anything like that, but I'll get up in the middle of the night, you know, three, four o'clock in the morning, go out to the couch so I won't disturb the wife, you know, from rolling over. Anyway, turn the TV on. Alfred Hitchcock movie. I got into the middle of it, unfortunately, but it pulled me in. This movie is called Rear Window, and it's from 1954. It's a colored movie. It's in color. And, I mean, some of his movies are in black and white. Anyway, the thing that sucked me in was there was a... <clears throat> so let me throw it down for you. I apologize about my... <laughs> Anywho. Uh, the gentleman, it seemed as he had witnessed a murder, and he was trying to get other people to essentially believe his story. But he was in a wheelchair. He couldn't really do much. But anyway... So that's what kind of brought on the Alfred Hitchcock thing. With getting into the movies, I haven't went through all of them. I would recommend that one, though. Rear Window, um, definitely. I tried getting into The Birds, because I do like birds. I'm a, I love the vulture. Um, I, but birds are just kind of, I don't know, they're fascinating do I own a bird? No, I do not. <laughs> it would be cool to have a vulture, though, running around here. You know, it'd be interesting. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting off track here. The Birds. This movie came out in 1963. I got about maybe five minutes into it. It was another one of his movies that was in color. The thing that turned me off about it, the birds in the background. And it wasn't beautiful singing, I guess. It was squawking, nonetheless. That's how I felt about it. Um, I will have to try it out again. Um, or read the book, maybe. I don't know, but just from reading, you know, everything that was in there, it seemed very interesting. 
Very interesting. The other one that I watched today was Dial M for Murder. Um, this one came out in 1954. Um, it's about a gentleman that found out that his wife um, had been messing around on him. And, you know, tried uh, plotting the murder of her. Plotting her murder, I guess. I don't know. You guys get what I'm saying. Either or, I would uh, I, I, I would recommend that one. Just because the other thing, too, with some of those older movies, like we watched, uh, I'm sure some of you are familiar with Night of the Living Dead. Um, Just the older, like, acting, and, you know, it, it like... It, it just draws you in, I guess. I don't know. Some might say because you're getting older, you know, uh, you watch older stuff. I don't know. I don't really care anymore, I guess, either or. On to the next point or something else. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go to some screenshots here real quick. I like taking those. Some of you have tuned into that three wheel bicycle podcast that's been going on for quite a while that's another place that i have been um, just doing some of well not well all right let's go down let's go down a little bit of a rabbit hole maybe not a rabbit hole but you know doing you know that podcast also doing the painting stuff, you know, um, I, and pushing it or trying to push it out there on social media gets extremely frustrating after a while. And the reason why I say that and not to sound arrogant or, I don't know what the word is. Like, you know, I my artwork is pretty badass. It is. You know, and not to sound selfish or arrogant like I was saying, but like, you know, shoot, I've been going at this for a while. You know what I mean? Over 10 years. And... You know, the the paintings that I do now compared to the ones that I did before, you know, I'm, and then you go and, and you put it on whatever social media platform there is and you get like, you know, just a couple likes or whatever. And I know it's not all about the likes on there and everything, but it's the simple fact, I guess, that you know, before, everything was completely different, I guess. And what I mean by that is, you know, people would be sharing it. Hey, hit this dude up, da 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 And then after a while, you know, it just it, it went away. So, you know, shit just gets discouraging after a while. You know what I mean? And then it's like, where should I be focusing my attention at? My family. Right? Because that's what it's all about. Let's be honest here. You know? I can honestly say one of the greatest gifts a man can receive is a daughter. Daughters. It's humbling. It's humble. I don't know how to explain it. But... Yeah, because that shit's cool in my motherfucking book, yo. <laughs> uh. <laughs> anyway, let's see. what. Oh, yeah, sorry. I got sidetracked there. We got... Ooh, all right. We're going to bring you back to some history here. In the roaring 1920s, El Capone wasn't just a fearsome mob boss. He also 
the proud was, sorry, he was the proud owner of a flashy new car that he treated like family. It was a gleaming black Cadillac, and Al effectively named it Betty. Betty was the more than just a vehicle. She was Capone's pride and joy. He polished her daily, ensuring every inch sparkled. Capone was often seen talking to Betty, promising her thrills, rides in the best parking spots. One evening during a high-speed chase with the law, Capone swerved through the narrow streets of Chicago, nearly avoiding capture. As he parked Betty safely in the garage, he patted her hood and said, Betty, you're the best getaway driver I've ever had. His men couldn't help but laugh at his unusual affection for the car, but they knew better than to mock the bond Capone had with Betty. After all, she wasn't just a car. She was part of the family. I mean, let's be honest. That's another thing, too, when you think about it. You know, and every man, woman, child, whatever, has a relationship with one thing that they soul-heartedly, you know, just have that bond with, which is pretty cool. You know, that was a little bit of history for you. History from the 1920s. I'm going to take it back one more time. We're going to go back to 1936. The dog sack was invented to keep cars clean while traveling with pets. This canvas bag attached to the outside of the car allowing dogs to ride safely with an air hole for them to enjoy the breeze. Now, the picture here, it, I mean, I'm, I'm sure, but, well, obviously, back then, them cars, they, they don't go as fast as the ones do now. You know what I mean? But a <laughs> little bag on the side of your vehicle, your dog just lays in it. I mean, I'm sure it'd be comfortable for a little bit, I don't know. I'm sure the dog would try to jump out of it. But (laughs) a large sack. Ooh, here's another little thing I was going to get into, too. Uh, Going back to the Terror Fire movie, I apologize, because this goes from here to there to everywhere. And it goes back to topics I talked about before. The Terror Fire movie, people were saying how the Terror Fire 3 outbeat... The Joker 2 in the box office. Well, I mean, another thing too, I have not seen The Joker 2 yet. But just from what I have seen and read online, and people's opinions, is that it was mostly like a musical. But I guess that's not what I was trying to get at there. What I was trying to get at is the fact that that movie had just came out and the hype behind it was from, what, 2016, just like I was saying? I mean, come on. The fan base is obviously a lot more bigger than... And even when you go to, just like I was saying, you know, with people's opinions online and whatnot, you know, maybe some of the people that actually were into the first Joker were like, oh, well... No, this guy's my friend, so I'm going to trust what he says. Or, you you know, I mean, I don't know. It's BS anymore. You know, a lot of people's opinions. Because they're mostly shit. I mean, let's be honest here. They only want one thing. And that's, you know, to... Yeah, get whatever benefits or profits them the most, you know, which is pretty sad, pretty sad. But, anyway, what else do I have here for a get off? I'm rambling a bunch. Got to give a shout out. Sorry, message. I'm trying to get off the shout out thing. I said that on the other podcast. Jessica Campbell, if some of you don't know who she is, uh, she became the first woman 
to coach an NHL game for the Seattle Kraken. <laughs> now, I mean, let's be honest here. You know, I know a lot of a lot of people are probably Ugh, and you know, some of them have been in an uproar about the fact that there's a female that's coaching a hockey team, an NHL hockey team, not that. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, obviously there's a reason why she's there, right? If she wasn't qualified for that fucking job, then she wouldn't have got it, right? She'd approve it to somebody. And the fact that she is a female is getting all these people pissed off. And I, man, it, y'all are, y'all are something is all I got to say. And going back to more screenshots and dumbass shit. Um, this popped up on my thing today. Bath and Body Works has apologized and pulled the candle from its website in retail locations. Um, some people are getting mad because the logo or picture, I guess, which essentially looks like a snowflake, but some people were mad because it looked like the Ku Klux Klan, the KKK. I mean, do we... What else are we going to bitch about? I mean... I, I shouldn't even say that because that's that's so fucking cliche. You know what I mean? Obviously, it's something petty. But who even... Is the Ku Klux Klan even a thing anymore? You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure there is. But it's more than likely inside the walls. I don't... I, I don't know. But it, it just... All of it gets aggravating after a while. You know what I mean? It was a candle. And it was called Snow Ice, if I read that correctly. I think so. I had to put my phone down. So I'm rambling. Snowed in. I apologize. I, I guess I wasn't rambling. I was trying to get to a point. And the point was, essentially, quit being so fucking petty. Quit trying to bring the joy out of a holiday. You you put the light out on of a candle, I guess. You know what I mean? Some people see it as a snowflake. Some people see it as the Ku Klux Klan. And in my book, I see it as a snowflake, a candle. I'm sure it probably smelled good. Smells good. Either or. That's, I don't know. I think I'm just going to end on that. I'm just going to end on that. Oh, here's here's something good for you, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this with a little tip. little tip. <laughs> little tidbit. It is kind of cold out here standing up. I was on this stool that I got for when I'm on the computer editing. And uh, I got to, yeah. But, yeah, I've been standing this whole time. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. I dig it. But I'm going to leave you with this. Avoid wasting time brushing your teeth by simply adding toothpaste to your food instead. I'm just joking. Don't do that shit. That sounds disgusting. That sounds about as good as Cheerios ketchup. Cheerios with ketchup. I guess. Could you imagine that? That's disgusting. Some people don't like Cheerios. I love Cheerios. Plain ones. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I like that whole grain natural wheat. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Uh, anywho, I'm out of here. Um, to the people that have been following 
this podcast and the new ones that are just joining now I totally appreciate and I apologize that I haven't gotten back to this show also yeah this is uh essentially just what I find cool in my book because it's in my book <laughs> oh man it's getting chilly out here. All right. I'm done. Hopefully you guys learned something from the show. Laughed, maybe. I don't know. Either or. I'm your host, Stevie V. And I'm out of here. This is In My Book Podcast. If you have any suggestions, shoot them down below. Also, click that link and it'll take you to a bunch of other shows and some amazing artwork. Oh yeah, and share it up with your friends. I mean, if you don't, hey, that's cool too. Either or. Peace. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. (laughs) No, I just did not fart. Even if I did, you couldn't smell it. Which is good, because it stinks to no heaven. (laughs) Oh, that's it. I'm out of here. You have to fill out a form just to throw something in the garbage? That sucks. Beavis, you're a stupid dumbass. (laughs) (laughs) Ha, 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 ha.